Welcome to Library Salad. Today's episode is Virtual Vacations and brought to you by the Monroeville Public Library in Pennsylvania. Bonjour and welcome. Library Salad is just taking a topic, tossing around ideas for a lot of fun. And we're going to be taking a tour of Paris today. So, these days, since we're not able to travel, we can have the opportunity to have a virtual vacation and decide where we want to go. It doesn't have to be Paris, could be anywhere that you'd like, and to be able to make up a fun itinerary of great activities. So, for our itinerary, I just took simply picture, the date it was happening, and even an itinerary of the fun things that we're going to do. So, first up on the itinerary is dressing the part. So, making a homemade beret. Just go on the internet, Google, simple thing, homemade beret, and this is what you've got. I just took some felt and followed the directions. I used two pieces of felt cut that were together, just simply stitched them up because usually felt squares are very small. You can make it any color that you like. You might say you don't have a sewing machine. Neither did I. That's why it looks like this. So, number two, we always like to do crafts. Sometimes when we're getting ready for a vacation, who does it? And for the Eiffel Tower, the chance to see how the Eiffel Tower is built, how can we build one? The answer to that is marshmallows and toothpicks. Everybody loves this. So here's an example of what we did. And at your house, you can simply have a contest that can be something like the tallest, the most structurally sound, any categories that you like. Then a virtual tour. You may have seen all over the internet how the virtual tours are becoming so popular. A lot of things that are, have been open on tours are the museums. When I think of Paris, I think of the Louvre. The Americans pronounce it Louvre. The French pronounce it Louvre. I'm somewhere in between the middle with that. Um, another of the very famous uh, museums in Paris is, let's see, it's the Musée d'Orsay. Check out those. They even have a lot of tours of famous food places too. And we'll get back to food um, just in a while. So if you also enjoy the cinema, the French cinema, think of all the different uh, French films that you may have enjoyed. Uh, one of my favorites is See if you can guess the first word and the last word, both begin with B, middle words are and the. So you can check that out, or if you're looking for other movies, you can simply go to our website, because on our website, on mobilelibrary.org, click on library at, at NY where, and if you go into Hoopla, you can check out everything from um, movies, TV shows, audio, uh, books, and music. So find your favorite right there. And what else is up on our, let's see, we can cross off. We've made the berets, we've done the Marshmallow Tower, the virtual tours, um, the French cinema, and next is fine dining. When I think of France, I think of the chocolate. And what I did was I made some chocolate mousse. Now you can buy this just at the grocery store. It's in with the puddings and it's as easy as pudding to make. It really is. You can top it off with what you'd like. I'm just gonna do this. A little whipped cream and there she goes. Um, my grandfather used to say, the only thing better than a little whipped cream is a lot of whipped cream. And this is going to be an example of that. You can just simply top it with some chocolate curls. You can put anything on it that you like. What I also made, notice I started with dessert first. Makes sense. Bread. French country bread or the French baguette. 
um, is certainly a staple. You could put this on top of a beautiful onion soup. That always goes well with that. You can put this aside of a um, French chicken. And another one of my favorites is, I whipped these up today, the crepe Suzette. The crepe Suzette, if you can make pancakes, you can make a crepe Suzette. Very simple ingredients, basic pan, and I happen to like them with butter. Some people like to put in before they roll it some jam. You can put a chocolate nut spread if you'd like. I've even seen it made into a cake. Simply by each one being flat, you're gonna layer it. First the crepe, then some chocolate pudding. Another layer of chocolate pudding, keep going. Um, this is a half a recipe. On a full recipe, you get a nice stack like that. Cover the top with confectioner sugar. You can even cut it into a wedge. So don't let the fact that um, they look difficult to make that may be a different sounding um, name to them. They're really very easy on that. And if you want to get recipes from all over the world, um, on our website, there's a research button. And then there's a countywide databases. A to Z World Food has food and recipes from all over the world. So if you're taking a different tour, check that out for the place that you're going virtually. And let's see what we've got now. We've done that. Last up is the French spa. After all of that that we've done, time to relax. Now you may have bought a new hair clipper because you can't get to the hair salons now. So if you try the hair clipper out, let's say it doesn't exactly go the way you thought, that's where the beret comes in. You can also do a facial mask. I bought one of these. They've got plenty of recipes even on um, the internet of different ways you can do a nice facial for yourself. To show you how this whole thing all comes together, my sister all the way out on the West Coast, she and her family did a virtual tour uh, and vacation of Paris. So what you're seeing here is her family came by. They were wearing their homemade berets also. My sister and brother-in-law live all the way up on to their balcony. They were ready for them. They had made some posters. It looked like they were looking up to the Eiffel Tower with that. And what did they do next? They load down a package of things for them. So all the things in the packages could either be washed in a dishwasher or kept safe for a couple of days just to keep up the whole um, theme of social distancing. So that's a great idea. So hope you've enjoyed the tour. Hope you do your own uh, virtual tour and au revoir.